Okay kids, time for a history lesson. You see, back in the day Harley used the old rigid style frame for its FL models. But in 49, a new bit of fandanglery known as the hydraulically dammed telescopic shock found its way onto the front end, and it would be almost a decade before the shock and swing gun would see the light of day. It is this time period that Harley targets with its soft tail slim. Fat front forks are made to look even fatter with classic fork skirts that come in blackout to match the fork sliders, headlight can, handlebar, instrument panel, beret, jugs, breather cover and rear fender struts. Both front and rear fenders come heavily bobbed so that the front is close to the effective minimum size and the rear is just a few inches of reveal past the struts, just like the old school bobbers. The blackout trim and polished aluminum triple tree is an unusual arrangement, and I can't say I'm a fan of the naked headlight though I understand that it looks more bobberish that way, but I think a blackout nacelle would look sweet. Black rims set off the polished spokes just as the black jugs accentuate the polished nose echo and rocker boxes for nice contrast all around. Seat height is slung way low at 25.5 inches off the ground. So not only is the center of gravity low, but it's a short trip from ground to hip so it should land in flat foot territory for all. Great for leverage, comfort and confidence at stops.